Hey, welcome to Edco's manufacturing facility here in historic Frederick, Maryland. My name's Jason, and I'm going to show you how to properly install the accessories on the Edco 8-inch walk-behind scare fire. It's the model number CPM8. Scare fires are great for general concrete removal, coating removal, trip hazard repair, and texturing slippery floors, among other things. An Echo Scare Fire uses a rotating drum with carbide and steel accessories to remove concrete surfaces. What I'm going to do is show you how to properly install and load this drum. One thing we really have to remember is that a drum always has to be balanced. Now, if your drum isn't balanced, your shafts tend to break in the field. What I mean by making your drum balanced is, in a six shaft drum like we have here, every other shaft needs to mirror two in front of it. If you see here, we have a four carbide setup. In front of here is a blank space, meaning these carbides will grind the surface where this one doesn't. But then if you see this one here, you have your blank space again. This line here mirrors the first line here. So we have both a finished drum and an empty drum. I'm going to show you the proper way to load the empty drum. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to mirror this line of carbides right here on the empty drum. So we're setting up what we call a general purpose setup drum, meaning it takes 78 carbide cutters and 215 spacers. And what a general purpose setup does it gives you those general purpose applications. Basic concrete removal, great for trip hazard repair, and coating removal. We have lots of setups on edcoinc.com that you can download and see for yourself. The rule of thumb is, the less carbide cutters you put on a drum, the more aggressive the scarifier is gonna be. The more you put on there, the less aggressive the scarifier is gonna be, but at least it leaves a nice, textured surface behind. One thing to remember when you're setting up a drum is you don't have to use all of your spacers. Spacers are approximately the same size but sometimes in the manufacturing process one or two is a bit thicker than the others and that's okay to not put all 215 spacers on there as long as you have all the carbides on there and again your drum is balanced. Balance your drum is crucial to, to being successful with this machine. Always gets a bit tricky when you get to the edges and corners here. As you now see, I'm going to have to go with four carbides here and then three more spacers to our wall. I just got to slide them in there and move your shaft through. Loading this drum may look a bit difficult. It's really not. Just take some practice. You do this a few times, and it becomes very, very easy. I just cannot stress enough how important it is to keep your drum balanced. This line needs to mirror this next shaft, two behind it. As we get to the end of the shaft, you got to be really careful, slide our last three spacers in, and push the shaft all the way through the drum. One more thing to keep in mind is that the carbide cutters need to have play on the drum. What I mean by that is the carbides need to be able to move side to side up and down. The carbides flare against the concrete surface during operation. If the carbides and spacers are too tight, that flaring action can happen. So as you're loading your drum, periodically check that you can move your carbides and spacers back and forth. So now we're going to load the carbide drum onto the CPM8. Take your drum and load it by 
lining up the holes in the side of the drum with these bolts. And you run your drum shaft right through. So the last thing you need to do is put on two left-handed threaded nuts and tighten down. And now you're ready to use your CPM8 scare fire.